Now in this question, we're given the equation of the curve C, it's up here, and asked to find the equation of the normal to the curve L at the point P. We've got to actually show that the equation of line L is y equals minus x root 3 plus 6 root 3. So how am I going to do this? Well, basically, going to find dy by dx, that's the gradient at any point on the curve C. Then I'm going to work out what that gradient would be at the point P. And then I'm going to find the normal gradient at P. And then, finally, use the equation of a straight line when we know the coordinates of point that it goes through. And that equation will have the form y minus y1 equals m bracket x minus x1. OK, so that gives you an outline of what I'm going to do. So first of all, then, find the gradient at any point on the curve. So we have dy by dx. Now, when you have a parametric curve, the way around this to get dy dx is to do dy by dt multiplied by dt by dx. In fact, we're using the chain rule here. Well, for dy by dt, we need to differentiate y with respect to t up here. And differentiating this with respect to t gives 8, that would be the 2 times the 4, 8 cosine 2t. So we put that in as 8 cosine, or cos for short, 2t. Now, for dt by dx, what we've got up here is x equals 8 cos t. So what we can do is find dx by dt, which is equal to minus 8 sine t. And then, from that, it follows that dt by dx will be the reciprocal of that. So that will be minus 1 over 8 sine t. So what I'll do is I'll pop that in here. So we have minus 1 over 8 sine t. So we've got that. Clean this up and we have that this equals, well the 8's cancel and we're just left with a negative and that will be cos 2t over sine t. So we have cos 2t over sine of t. Now at p we found out earlier that t was pi upon 3. So what we need to do now is just say when t equals pi upon 3 so when t equals pi upon 3, we can get the gradient okay, of the tangent. So if we substitute that in, we have dy by dx is equal to, we have minus, and then we have the cosine of two lots of t, so that's 2 pi over 3. And if you do the cosine of 2 pi upon 3, you'll find later that it is negative a half. Anyway, we'll do that later. And we have over the sine of t, which is pi upon 3. So, as I said earlier, cosine of 2 pi upon 3 is going to be minus a half. So we have minus, minus a half. And that's being divided by the sine of pi upon 3, which is root 3 upon 2. And cleaning this up, OK, we can multiply top and bottom by 2. And this will be a plus here. So what we get is 1 over root 3. OK, we we'll just move up a little bit more. And... What do we need to do now? Now that we've got the gradient dy by dx, I can therefore say that the gradient of the normal, gradient of normal, is going to be equal to, that's the normal L, is going to be equal to negative the reciprocal of this. So in other words, minus root 3. Remember, the product of the gradients should equal 
negative 1. OK, we're almost in a position now to say, therefore, the equation of the normal OK, at P, let's just say equation of normal, or I could say the normal L is, and what is it going to be? Well, using y minus y1 equals m bracket x minus x1, we have y minus the y coordinate of P, which was 2 root 3, equals the gradient, which is minus root 3, multiplied by x minus x1, and that will be minus the x value of p, 4. So, what I'm going to do now is just expand the right hand side, so we have at the moment y minus 2 root 3 equals, now I'm going to write the x before the root 3, so we have minus x root 3, and then plus 4 root 3. So, by adding 2 root 3 to both sides, what we have is that therefore y equals minus x root 3 plus, we have 4 root 3 here and another 2 root 3, so that's going to be 6 root 3. So we have the equation of the line L in the form that they wanted. And that brings us to the end then of this part of the question.